Hi, welcome back to my channel, Ren Country Sticks. Uh, in the last um, video, uh, we started this, um, it's called a hiking pole. So, um, the carving's been glued in. What we're going to do now is take all these uh, corners off and everything, get everything nice and flush, uh, clean everything up, and um, we'll look at uh, popping a stick on. So the next job is, as I say, clean that up. Once we've done that, we'll be back. Um, you can use anything really, file, dremel, whatever you want. I've got a little tiny sanding uh, drum, I'll probably use that. And um, we'll, uh, as I say, see how we go on. So uh, that's it for the moment, we'll be back in a minute. Right, okay, next stage. So we've now trimmed off the excess. Um, I'll show you what we've used. Little drum sander, but uh, oh, we've used a little drum sander. Also use a, a file as well. Um, now the, the next thing now is to take uh, the square edge off that, give it a bit of a rounded uh, effect, because uh, I think that'll be probably be painted green. Okay, there we go. So we've rounded the edges off, and. Uh, we can leave that now till we get uh, around to painting it. Next thing we're going to think about what we're going to do with this bottom end. And uh, we'll find a shank and whether we're going to put a collar on or not. So the other thing we could do, I don't know how thick this uh, wall is. You could actually um, sand some finger grips. I don't think it's necessary on this. It's quite a comfortable uh, antler. But uh, I have done that on others and it's quite nice. So there we go. So next thing, I'm going to find myself some uh, hazel and decide what I'm going to do. The uh, the antler is a bit oval, it's not round, so if we do put a collar on, then what we're going to have to do is uh, take one near enough the right size and then squash it in the uh, the vise just to try and get that shape there. And of course that uh, goes to uh, the hazel as well. We're going to have to try and shape the hazel. So we'll have to see what we've got and what's going to work best. Because you don't want to be making too much work for yourself. But uh, as I say, you want a good job. Now the other thing is, uh, we're going to put a peg in this to go into the hazel. And I'm thinking maybe what I'll do is drill as much of this out as I can and put a big wooden dowel in and then drill into that and put the peg in that. Um, because this um, centre core, uh, whatever you want to call it, is uh, a bit on the soft side and I don't know how much strength it's going to give uh, a dowel joint. So that's something to consider. We'll be back soon. Right, okay, so what we found now is I had an old um, ram's horn collar that I found and that was ideal because I can heat that up and uh, squeeze that onto um, onto the, the antler. So I can get this off and I'm not sure I can without popping it in the vise. No, we, we've just taken a wee bit of um, antler off um, just to make it fairly oval. Heated that horn up, popped it onto there. And what we've chosen is um, a uh, piece of chestnut I couldn't find any hazel which was uh, sort of oval, um, but um, this chestnut's quite nice. So again, that'll uh, fit there. So we need to now create a peg, and um, I think that'll probably look quite nice. I'm going to leave the stick as it is. Um, it'll take on a pattern of its own as uh, as it's used. Um, we've just got to put a ferrule on it. The next thing is to create that joint there. So you can see where, where we're going with this. Um, the, um, the horn collar, I'm sure I've covered that in another uh, video, but basically if you get a piece of scrap horn, um, you know, you get yourself a block and then drill a hole in the middle. Um, you can put it on a lathe perhaps or on a, um, a, a drill and start turning that down until you get uh, something that's uh, a bit on the thin side. Uh, you just got to be careful though, um, you don't want to be squeezing this on when it's cold because it'll probably crack it so you've got to make sure there's plenty of heat in that and it's malleable and uh, be very uh, careful as you uh, push it onto the, the antler, you don't want to break it. So 
that's where we are now we're going to create the uh, the joint next and we'll see what we're going to do with that we'll be back soon <coughs> right here we are again so that's just a tight fit there um, we've created a, um, a peg what we've done we've cut some uh, some waste off this um, chestnut I thought oh, we'll, we'll use that chestnut and turn a peg on it so um, I don't know whether I'll be able to part this because it's quite a tight fit even although there's no glue on it. We'll show you what we've done. So obviously we've got a hole there, that's a 13mm hole. We'll take this collar off and if I can get that out without breaking it. So that's uh, about a 17mm hole roughly um, and that's our peg. So uh, that pops in there. As I say it's quite a that honeycomb is quite soft so I don't particularly trust it and then that peg fits in there and there we go so um, all that remains now is for um, this all to be glued up we've uh, we've got marks on the timber to make sure that uh, everything lines up again um, and I think the easiest way to do this really is um, as we put, put our glue on to warm the horn up again so that uh, there we go it'll just squeeze up over the um, the antler and then we'll leave it we'll clean it all up and um, job should be a good one so uh, there we go folks back soon right we've just glued this stick up uh, the epoxy is still wet um, I need to give it another wipe and uh, one glaring fault that we've now found is that the dog's facing down um, at the time of doing that um, that antler um, I suppose I never really positioned the handle to have the dog flat that's the way it should have been but anyway uh, it, it is what it is I'm sure somebody will buy it um, and uh, we'll remember next time to be a bit more careful maybe what we should do is start with the joint and get that uh, in the position it's going to be uh, used then we can sort of uh, flatten that top off but anyway as I say it is what it is and uh, we'll just give that a bit of a clean now leave it to dry and um, come back and uh, paint it when it's ready and as I say uh, clean the rest of the stick up put a ferrule on so um, I'd be quite happy to use that so that's it for now um, I was thinking last night what can we do for the next stick and I've got something that might uh, be quite interesting to some of you It'll be um, timber and um, makes a very, very nice stick. So we'll tell you more when we're ready to start. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again. Bye bye.